of a light. There's a plane going by. Look, this is this is no spot right here. This is my best cat. He just I'm just outside meditating. He just comes up. He's the best. He's like a tiger. I love him. <laughs> He's the best cat. He's the best cat. <laughs> so uh, the video I wanted to make is because I have confirmed now something which I've spoken about and um, suspected and heard myself in the past, which is that, um, one second. okay, yeah, which is that, uh, fleas, flies, mosquitoes, biting gnats, these things are astral entities. Maybe roaches too, I'm not sure about them. Um, but basically, <laughs> they don't exist in the higher dimensions because in, in the higher physical dimensions even, in the higher vibratory worlds, in the fifth dimension, there are no biting insects. Of course, because it's made in co-participation with nature, with Gaia. And you would not make that type of world for yourself. So I had heard this before, and that, for instance, fleas were a direct manifestation of anger into the physical world, an overlay of part of the matrix. And, you know, this resonated and sounded true. And in my own experience, I had to think, like, I hadn't had any problems with any kinds of things like that in a, in a long time. But now I have my own house. I, I mean, I've had this place for two years now, over two years. And... You know, I'm not the cleanest person, you know, I'm not the messiest person either. Uh, I'm getting better, but in the process of awakening, where you completely tear down all your old systems, it's kind of hard to keep certain structures in order, you know, and, and most people um, solve that a lot of times by just letting go of everything and backpacking or going to an ashram or something like that, but that wasn't my situation. Um, I have a household, and so that wasn't my choice, whatever. But, you know, so what I'm trying to say here is that from my experience in all my life, and looking at the way, you know, that I'm living, and the fact that even if, like, for instance, like, I, we just sit around and watch TV and eat, Chinese food for a weekend or something and leave all the stuff out we don't get ants we don't get fleas we don't get for instance we have all these cats right I've got eight cats no I've got seven indoor cats and a couple that come in and out okay and the outside ones of course had fleas every time in my life in the past where where I have brought in a cat, an, in, an outside cat indoors who had fleas and then treated them, the fleas jumped off. On, and that's the one time you would really see fleas jumping around and biting you and stuff. None of that. Nothing. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's wild. It's wild. There's, there's zero, like, f the flies that come into our house, they just die instantly. It, occasionally one will, like, find its way in and it just dies occasionally instantly like it can't stay in there because I am in the fifth dimensional version of my home which is a pleasant place without pest and such things so yeah oh you want to see this tree isn't that beautiful one more thing if any of you are wondering why I wear this skull and bones <laughs> uh, silly hat it's because I just like the way it fits. It's, it's uh, I, because you know, I realize it's probably a odd thing to see. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, it's they're the best hats as far as fitting my head. <laughs> so.